Controls for the 777 exterior lights are on the overhead panel. These switches operate the left, nose, and right landing lights. The left and right runway turnoff lights. The nose gear mounted taxi light. The white strobe lights. The red beacon lights. The navigation lights. And the stabilizer mounted logo lights. The wing light illuminates the front of the engine nacelles and wings. Operate any exterior light switch to review the results or touch the green arrow to continue. Interior lighting includes aisle stand lighting, which consists of panel and floodlight controls. The outer knob controls the aisle stand panel lights. The inner control operates the aisle stand floodlights. Lights located at the base of the aisle stand also illuminate the floor area. This switch controls the floor lights. Individual controls for the captain's and first officer's forward panel lights are located here. The floodlight controls illuminate the forward panel area. These are the inboard display brightness controls. If radar is displayed on an inboard display, this control increases or decreases the brightness of the radar display. These are the outboard display brightness controls. The center panel brightness controls are located just forward of the control stand. This control increases or decreases the brightness of the upper display. This control increases or decreases the brightness of the lower display. As before, if weather radar is displayed on the lower display, the inner knob controls brightness. Individual map light controls are located on the glare shield. To operate the map lights, the control is pulled out and rotated to the desired brightness. Controls for the glare shield panel and floods, the overhead and circuit breaker panel lights, the dome light, the storm light, and the master bright control are located on the overhead panel. This control operates the glare shield panel lights. The inner knob controls the glare shield floodlights. The outer knob operates the overhead panel lights. This controls the circuit breaker panel lights. This controls dome lights on the flight deck ceiling. The storm light switch turns on the dome lights the aisle stand floodlights, the forward panel floodlights, and the glare shield floodlights to full bright. 
The storm switch also turns illuminated indicator lights to full brightness. This airplane has a master bright system that allows control of panel lights and displays with a single knob. The master bright system is switched on and off with the push. Now, with the master bright system on, the master bright control adjusts the brightness of all panel lights and displays at the same time. The master bright control does not control dome lights, floodlights, and circuit breaker lights. However, for the master bright control to have full range of brightness control of panel and displays, each panel and display brightness control, the knobs with a white dot, must be set to the center detent. Set all display and panel brightness controls to their center detent. You've touched this before. Make another selection. You've touched this before. Make another selection. Touch the highlighted area. Continue. 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 Now, turn the master bright control to full bright and notice how all the displays and panel lights go to full brightness. Now, turn the master bright control to the mid position and observe how all the displays and panel lights dim. Once the master bright control has been set, individual brightness levels can still be adjusted small amounts by moving their individual controls to either side of the detent. To illustrate this, increase the brightness of the glare shield panel lights. Remember, the master bright control only has full range of control if all individual display and panel brightness controls are at the 12 o'clock position. This switch controls indicator lights brightness. It also tests the indicator lights. With the switch in test, all indicator lights illuminate full bright and a test pattern is displayed on the MCP, radio tuning panels, and trim indicators. From test, the switch is spring-loaded to the bright position. Placing the switch to dim reduces the brightness of the indicator lights. If you want to operate interior lights, touch your selection or touch the green arrow to continue. Now operate the controls. Touch the highlighted area. Continue. Now operate the controls. Touch the highlighted areas. Continue. Touch the highlighted area. Continue. Now operate the controls. Now operate the controls. Touch the Continue. Operate the master bright system by first turning the system on, then increase the brightness. Next, decrease the brightness. And finally, shutting the system off. 